Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cecilia from Scientist Plans and in this video I want to talk about my bullet journal experiment. So if you've been following along the channel and also on Instagram, I share that since middle June I wanted to test bullet journaling. I haven't really given a fair shot and so June I felt the need of really simplifying things and having a notebook, a pen, and not really having a set of a spread laid out for me. And I received a notebook that I wanted to try out and I think it fit quite well with the moment that I was um, dealing with and my personal life and also work and it was great. So you're having, um, you're seeing here three covers in front of you because those are the things that I'm using and then I'll be continue to use uh, along the months for now so i just wanted to show them uh, but i want to focus here on my unintentional <laughs> book july this is the way that i like to call since i've been using this a lot more so i'm gonna put those uh the hobo tweaks and my workbook aside but i can go back to it and just show the different setups because you could see that um there are some new things going on okay let me just move it a bit more all right so i started uh using or testing out or experimenting the bullet journal in the middle of june and that actually came from a place where i was a little overwhelmed with the, the quantity and the nature of some appointments that i had and i didn't really want to look at my week and see on a monday that i had something coming on a friday uh, i had this already noted and you know it was marked on my calendar i would get an alarm on my email and also on my phone. So I didn't, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to miss it basically, but I didn't want to be looking at it at all times. Uh, it was overwhelming. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to try bullet journal because at this point, I don't want to be looking at a spread in front of me, but I still need to get things done. And I really want to be able to capture my thoughts and a lot of things that are on my mind, but just with a lot of freedom. I don't want to be restricted by um, a spread, by a certain layout. I just want the freedom to do whatever I want. And also the, let's say, um, I don't know actually how to express that, but I wanted something to be easy that I would just focus on that day. Like take one day at a time in a blank space. Does that make sense? So I think sometimes you could be, in this moment, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, uh, but you still have things to do. And I said, you know what? I think this is my my time to try the bullet journal. What happened also at the time was that I received, I bought, and I got this um, notebook from Planner Monkey Co. And she called it Freely Noted, which I think is a good, good name for this notebook. So it has 192 pages, a 52 DSM white Tomo River paper, which is very similar to the Hobonichi Weeks. It's not the same, it's similar. And it has a four millimeter grid uh, which is just one um, millimeter bigger than the Hobonitrix. The Hobonitrix is three, this one is four. Uh, and I already got the second generation of this notebook, which is, is, these are the same specs, but just the cover is done differently. The binding is a little different so that it would lay flat a little easier. But to be honest, even the first one, which is the one that I have in here, once you work on it and you break the spine a bit, like Jackie from Cook the Crow also tell us to do, it's like no problem. So yeah, so this is where I came from when I wanted to start the bullet journal was basically to try to simplify things, not to be overwhelmed by my appointments and everything going on, but also not to lose focus. So I wanted to really like having my focus on one day at a time and not at the full week. I, I could obviously be doing that uh, using the notes pages on my Hobonichi weeks because you have blank pages on the back, but I still, I would have all the taunting things in this book and I want just the, it to be away for a bit. And then I think it was great. So what I have here is this beautiful cover from Bojo Planner. Uh, as you can see, I transfer some of my charms here. Just those charms are from Traveler's Company and I am using my uh, uh, Pentel Inner Gel, but the refill that is here is actually from Muji and it's the Gel Point 38 in blue black. 
uh, yeah, so everything fits here quite nicely. And you see how the blue black looks like. So in here I have, uh, this is a little drawing for my son. I put this little patch here. I have some sticky notes with some lists that don't really have a place to live. So I just decided to put them here. And those ones, they even have tabs. So they were like placed in a way that I had the tabs. So how did I set it up? When I started, I didn't really have the index. I just started by putting the name, the name, no, the date, and the, and the day of the week and the list. And this is what I want. And then if I needed a note, I would write a note. If it was a to-do list, I would write a to-do list. And then after, so I started on the 10th June, I decided, okay, maybe I should do like a little monthly view just to have like a sense of what's going on. Not everything, but something. And then I did that. And then I said, well, I kind of wanted to maybe write one thing every day, like a gratitude kind of thing or a good memory so that I keep my mindset in a good place. I continue with the notes and to-do lists. And, and I mean, I really like it. I feel like this little notebook, because it's already in a size that I like, which is the Hobony Tweaks, it's really great. I really love it. And sometimes I would decorate, maybe not every day, but some days just because I enjoy it. And yeah, so this is how I've been doing it. And then for July, because I had already experienced June, I decided to change a couple things especially in the monthly view. So here in the monthly view, I did it all in pen. For July, I decided to do the lines in pencil because when I did those in pen, I thought they were just too dark and I, could, I couldn't really distinguish from the arrows when I had like events that would take multiple days, like say vacations, things like that. So I did in pencil and I liked it. And here I decided to write again one gratitude or, or one like good memory of the day and that will help me in fact to journal when I would get my journal and journal about the day and I kept the same I enjoyed um putting this little line before each day just because it would be a nice way to separate one day from the other and also very simple because then here in the back I just have a little ruler this is from Muji but I was using also the little ruler from Hobonichi, which is now here in my Hobonichi weeks. And I keep here some of the stickers that I might want to use. And also this one here, which is the monthly stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. that I'm using on a, on a monthly calendar. Yeah, so this is how things are going. The thing that I also tried here was to do a little tracker. And the trackers for me are not so much to tell me how many days I did a certain thing, except for health, uh, health stuff. So I have some like health markers or health things or symptoms that I want to track, especially when I talk to my doctor, because then I have to say, oh, I know I had so much headache. And he, he always asks me how many days, <laughs> for how long, you know? So then I can put here headache, IBS things, and then also other stuff that I need to pay attention to, like am I taking my medication? Uh, am I drinking tea? Am I drinking enough water? Am I, you know, going outside and walking? Am I meditating? Am I journaling? Doing gratitude? Going outside? And then I also decided to put a no spend and spend just to see. And I marked a couple of days that I had to water my plants because I have some plants that are different from others. So it's a little bit annoying. Some they, they want uh, water a bit more often than others. So I marked this down. And I also put like a period tracker. And here in the bottom, I decided to do um, a little graph with my sleeping hours and my mood. And um, as I could see here, there's just no correlation whatsoever with my mood and sleeping hours. Because here I slept very little, but I was actually very happy because <laughs> I went to bed late because I had friends over. So depending on the day, that doesn't really correlate. And I feel like it's nice. So some days I sleep very little, but I'm I'm okay and I'm, I'm happy afterwards. So I'm not this, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't need that much, that much sleep. And then here, I just add a sticky note with things that I want to add to the tracker. And I kind of like using that. And I feel like it, it, it will like make me come here and check things more and also not forget to do important things, which I think is where, why I use the trackers. And then it just continues with some more days. I tried this rolling week or Alistair method and I didn't, I didn't like it. I just didn't see 
any benefit of it. I know a lot of people love it, but it just didn't work for me. And I think, again, doing a weekly um, spread in this book didn't really work for me. I didn't like to set it up and also didn't like to set it up any other week. So I have my Hobonichi weeks for that. And this is one of the lessons that I learned doing bullet journal is that if I do bullet journaling, it's to live one day at a time. It's to write what I'm doing right now or on that day. Let's say every morning or every night of the day before, I could write what I have in my head that I need to do or just thoughts or whatever. But it's not really to play that much in advance. Maximum that I would do will be having this monthly view in the beginning of the month just to write important things so that I don't schedule stuff for the same day. So I won't be writing details of anything, but I'll probably put doctor appointments if anyone's out of town, you know, if there's any trips or very important deadlines at work so that I don't schedule anything around that. And that's all. So I feel like it's a great way to simplify things and to refocus on today, on the present. And this is what uh, this bullet journal helped me with. And I absolutely love it. And moving forward, I'm going to just use it and come back here whenever I need. So I will have my Hobonichi weeks because once we came back from vacations, I needed to organize my week and jot down a lot of things that I needed to do in the week, but I didn't know exactly what day. And then I ran back to my Hobonichi weeks because I didn't want to set up a week in here. It just, to me, is not what I want from this notebook. I already have a weekly planner. And so, yeah, so I'll be doing a mix of two uh, as the days go by, as I need it. And it's been great. And I love that I'm using a different pen. I don't know. To me, also, that matters. I love in Hobonichi Weeks to use the Unijet stream, which is a ballpoint. But in this paper, I love to use the Muji, which is a gel. And that's great. Like this, I use all my stuff. <laughs> and uh, one last thing about why I think this bullet journal experiment works well was because in July, when I tested it out, I had my vacation. So I didn't have a lot going on at work. So things were actually pretty stable. I had my student take care, taking care of things. And so I could really focus on family stuff and house things. So that was more than enough for me. But then as soon as we came back and I had all the stuff at work to catch up, then I needed to see a full week in front of me. And obviously I would use my work planner. So yeah, so I think that's why um, this really went well in June. And now I will go back to use dated planners because um, yeah, I'm not uh, like a real bullet journal, the journaler, sorry. So the bullet journal is not my only thing. I think it's just when I need just to, to you know, put lists, lists and thoughts and things that maybe I'm not in a mood to carry all of this with me or to be looking at all of it with me. So yeah, I really love it. I like when you can adapt and I like when you can reflect and see what do I need right now? And then, you know, you have those things close to you and you just, you know, do the changes and that's lovely. Okay, so that's what happening here. Let's talk about this change. So here is a Julia cover. Mm -hmm. So this cover, it's not, I mean, it's new because I haven't, I didn't use it before, but I got it on Christmas, actually. Um, my husband gave it to me as my Christmas gift. So this is a crockle blue and it looks like a dirty jeans. And like, I like it <laughs> because I don't, uh, how can I say? I don't really want to be that worried about covers getting dirty. And with the covers from Bojo Planner, you know, I've been using this and putting this in my bag. It even traveled with me. And I don't know, it just looks like new. So I like this way of living and not being so worried about covers. And this cover does look like it's already dirty, right? <laughs> I don't know, I think it does. So I just changed to this one because I miss clasps. I've been using the covers with elastics for so long that I feel like I want clasps now. So I just switch and I put my cover in here. I have my pictures and all the things and it's been great and it's just like always I just put a list here and I write the dated events and so we go and in the monthly view I have like a short version of the big tracking that you saw that's going on in the bullet journal and the events just like before nothing really changed and I think it was nice to take a break from it yeah I felt like this was my vacations and I completely disconnect from all the things that were like you know, making me overwhelmed. And it was great, but I missed it because it's uh, a way of planning and 
you know, getting things done that really work for me. So I missed it and that's why I'm back to it. And here, when it comes to my workbook, the only change is that, well, I changed the card here, like the cover, but I put those tabs. Those tabs are from Traveler's Company and I put them here in the monthly view. Like this, I could go easily to the months and that's all, nothing else changed. So I just put the tabs, kind of, I think it's easier and you will um, make it faster for me to jump from a month to the other. That's it. So <laughs> um, we'll see how things go from now, but I'm very happy that I tried the bullet journal and I see the benefit of it and I can see that I can, you know, go for the one that is helping me the most at that day or that week or whatever I need. They are all here and it's really great and I love to use them all and I'm happy to use them all so that they don't sit on my shelf and get dust. Uh, so it was really nice to do uh, this experiment and it ended up lasting a lot longer than I expected. So yeah, um, this is just uh, a little video to, I don't know, help you out in case you feel like Nothing is really working, nothing's really helping, you don't want to look use that thing that you're using. You know, just take a step back and think, what do I need right now? And then do it. And then if it changes again, if things get back to a place where you can breathe, you're not feeling like you need to adjust and you need, you know, then that's okay. Reevaluate and go back to something that was working previously or make the change. And, um, you know, all these things here are tools to help us organize our lives. But also, if those things are your hobby, they are here to make you happy. <laughs> they are here to also get you through difficult things. And this is exactly what I'm getting from my stationery. They are tools, organizational tools, productivity tools. But they are also where I get really creative and where I relax. Uh, here, obviously, I'm not including my journals, which is really where all my creativ creativity juices go to. But um, you can also get a lot creative with your planners too, right? Just the fact that you are setting up a new thing, thinking if you are like pens and so on is also very good just to relax and enjoy your tools. Oh, by the way, talking about pens, I did a pen test with fountain pens. Uh, someone was asking me if this notebook would work with fountain pens. I don't get distracted by it. This is just my uh, setup. Let me just remove it. So here are some of the fountain pens that I have currently inked. Here I have a Sailor, which is medium fine. I have a Pilot Prada in fine. I have a Pilot Kakuno, extra fine. Lummi Safari, extra fine. Another Lummi Safari, extra fine. A Twisby Echo Sport that is extra fine, but in this ink, I don't know. It seemed like a medium to me. I have a Lummi left-handed that I got from my friend Lily. Thank you, Lily. And then I have, again, another Lummi All-Star in Extra Fine. So all of them write really well. And you can see here, they don't bleed. So yeah, it's really fountain pen friendly as well. If you want to use fountain pen in this notebook. I haven't used fountain pens in this notebook, not even in my planner for now. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm keeping my fountain pens to my journaling. Like this, I make my journaling more in interesting and cozy and special. But as sometimes I do feel like I should take my fountain pens on a daily uh, adventure. But yeah, anyways, just uh, a little thought on that. But yeah, you can use this notebook with my mini pens. And here's everything that's going on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you tried the One Book July and what did you use and if you make any changes, if you're coming back to the system you're working or if you're adapting to something new. I'm just very curious. I'm always watching a lot of videos and trying to pick things here and there that would help me, especially when I see the full process, how the person tried it out and I know what, 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 what did the person find in the middle of the way. I'm very interested by that. And thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.